Hello, everyone, and welcome to the United Nations Academic Impacts Digital Discussion Series podcast. Today, we continue our series on the International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development. We will be speaking to Diane Leon Giustiniani, who is the manager of Bamboo Inda Hotel in Bali, Indonesia. Bamboo Inda, or Beautiful Bamboo, is a sustainable hotel that is located in Ubud, Bali, that combines the use of restored antique houses with new structures built with sustainable bamboo. Bamboo Inda was founded in 2007 by John and Cynthia Hardy. Since its opening, the hotel has been consistent with using local bamboo as the main material for all of its architectural designs. The UN Habitat considers bamboo as a green material, which can be quickly and easily cultivated as well as treated without complicated techniques or tools. Hello, Diane. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. As you know that this year is the International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development, what is your perspective on sustainable tourism? Well, sustainable tourism is considered as um, a value that every person that is involved in the tourism sector should be considering with um, a lot of care. Um, as managing Bambuinda, it's really part of our core values and um, it's part of our daily management, our, our passion as well, and what value we want to share with our teams and guests and the people that we're welcome, welcoming in the, in the hotel. Um, it's becoming more and more important nowadays, um, as it should be, because as a mass industry, the tourism also impacts um, many different in many different ways and not always in the best ways the different cultures and countries and people that um, the tourism is involving with. Okay. And talking about sustainability, it is the core element of the sustainable development goals. As a hotel operator, how would you define sustainability in the hospitality sector? It's, um, I believe it's kind of uh, a vision that you kind of see a hotel as a huge um, part of how you can inspire people, but also it's part of a biggest cycle. A, a hotel is also a small, little, um, less impactful um, identity identity on a, on a bigger scale movement. So you have the people that arrive in a hotel, but it's not just you that is involved. It's a, it's a huge industry. And I believe if you really want to have impactful actions, you have to consider this place as part of a bigger uh, cycle. And then if you think global, you can act local by in, in implementing uh, different stages and different management um, goals and values that you want to share with your team and the, and the people you welcome at the hotel as well. So they understand the impact that they have as, at their scale when they travel to these kind of specific hotels. Yeah. And the SDG 12 specifically aims for responsible consumption and production. The hospitality industry, as we know, entails consuming practices such as water and electricity. What does Bamboo in the hotel do to save water and energy? So if we, if we consider the, um, the 12th um, goal on responsible consumption and production, the water um, is... At Bambuinda, we used with gray water system and black water system. We also have filters in, in the whole place, in the whole hotel, so guests are able to have filtered water at every single point of water um, pipes in the hotel, which impacts also a lot the plastic consumption. We're a plastic-free hotel. No plastic bottles are actually used by either our guests or our team um, or the restaurant. We use um, we we have pools that we actually use um, fresh water, so we don't we don't fil we filter the pools, but we don't use chlorine. And our new development on the river side um, of Bambuinda, um, we use um, fresh water pools that actually are just um, they are not enclosed, so the water is still running in different levels, such as um, a little rice paddy model that you could. Uh, consider it as, um, as an example. And so we don't stop the water. It just flows down. Um, and as responsible consumption and production, the biggest impact that we have also in the hotel would be if you consider sustainability as a big 
cycle, you can also consider your consumption as such. And so we have food gardens. We grow only food all around the, um, the different gardens of Bambrinda. Anything that grows and you see is either used for the restaurant or for the farm. Um, we compost everything and we, we have a farm to table concept. So everything that grows around us is used for composting as well and, um, and for the restaurant. And as its name suggests, bamboo in the hotel is made of bamboo. What inspired the hotel's owners to open an eco lifestyle hotel made of bamboo? So initially, um, the first uh, units that we had at Bamboo Inda were made of recli- reclaimed wood um, and designed by the owners. And with the years and also, of course, the big involvement um, in the Green School project and Ibuku, which is the beautiful furniture company that is led by Elora Hardy, John Hardy's daughter, the knowledge of the bamboo and the craftsmen that were around this material made it possible to actually reach that level of perfection in the use of this uh, wild material. So I think the experience um, and the, um, the decision of John Hardy to never use, never cut a tree again, to be true to his true vision of sustainability, made it plus the, um, the knowledge of the bamboo and the experience of using it as an architectural material made it possible to actually design um, beautiful, uh, architecturally challenging and um, welcoming, comfortable hotel rooms. And also the hotel won the HICAP Sustainable Operations Award in 2013, which is annually given for Asia-Pacific hotel operators that demonstrate exemplary sustainable practices. What practice the hotel applies made it stand out and win the award? Um, so the, the pool system was one of the, of the main interests, as well as all the filtered water, the gray water system, the black water system, as previously mentioned. Um, of course, uh, the farm, from the farm to the, t- to the table concept, made it very interesting to actually consider um, everything that is around you can be used and can be helping you to be self-sustainable. self-sustainable sorry. Um, of course, we do have a, a linen and towel reuse program, as many hotels have um, also organic bath products. Um, we, you, we, we reuse and recycle every waste that we produce. So our, our waste impact is actually um, very, very low. And, um, of course, the design of the, of the ground itself was standing out because if you were to take out the different houses and the different hotel parts, um, the land would grow again back to what it was because the impact when the, when the hotel was built slowly, the impact on the ground and on the landscape was very, very minimum. Okay, and since Bambuinda has been doing these practices for the last 10 years, what is your advice for other accommodation operators that are also interested to do sustainable practices? A lot of people think of sustainability as standards that they should apply to their hotel in terms of material and architecture. A lot of different countries have resources that are around and can be used as well as um, artisans, craftsmanship. Um, So these are actual assets that have to be considered. And of course, if you want to think of more standard operation um, that can be done at the hotel, it's always about reducing energy, how to to prevent um, loss of energy, how to use sustainable and renewable energy but also consider every space of a hotel as a possible um, place where you can rethink and innovate, such as gardens, which in most hotels are just here to be beautiful. If you transform these, this huge space into something that will produce food, that will produce value for the, the team and, and work um, for the people that are involved in such a project, you can actually start building up your own vision of what it is to be a sustainable destination. Great, wonderful. And last question is about the SDGs. The SDGs are a set of global goals that rely on local and international actions, as well as multi-stakeholder partnerships. From your point of view, Diane, what can the hospitality industry do to contribute to achieving the SDGs? I would think that we, we need more models 
where we need more help from the government to be to be investing in these kind of um, of models that will be the future of the hospitality industry in terms of being respectful to our resource and our planet that being an, a valuable economic model as a hotel is what also the different state stakeholder will look at um, so being able to show that this um, a sustainable hotel can be valuable economically will inspire investors, guests, employees, hotel operators, tourism professionals, and, and government to invest their resources in these kind of models that will have a positive social, environmental, and economic impact on the country and hopefully worldwide as well. Thank you very much, Diane. We really appreciate you being with us today, sharing your perspective thank on you. sustainable tourism. And thank you, everybody, for joining UN Academic Impact and our Digital Discussion Series podcast. To learn more about UN AI and our activities, please visit our website at academicimpact.un.org or join the conversation on social media at Impact UN.